What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Batman, and I do apologize for the lack of content over the past couple of days. I think it's been about, wait, what, six days that I haven't posted a video yet. Um, I haven't even been streaming on Twitch lately. Um, so I do apologize just to kind of let you guys know. I will be getting content rolling in as of now, and we'll be getting some reaction videos coming in, gaming videos. Uh, I'll be having a couple of my own production videos coming along the way. Those just take a little bit more time for me to do because I had to do my own homework research to make sure I can get all the you know, info in and, and then just kind of deliver my thoughts and you know my opinions and whatnot. Um, but... Either way, I am here. I have heaven on my side, as you can tell. Um, and what's it called? And other than that, we're going to be checking out someone new for Naruto content. So generally, the boys that we're always checking out is either, you know, Naruto Explained or Six or, or Noodles or, you know, uh, Seth the Programmer, Swag. Uh, then you got uh, King Bullet. Then you have, you know what I mean? Uh, there's going to be a couple of those I'm figuring out. Oh, NC Hammer 23. So, you know, we've, we've been checking out, you know, a general you know, amount of uh, YouTubers that post uh, Naruto content to kind of, you know, react to, and basically it's either a debunk video, or it's either like, yeah, great, great video, cool, or it's, you know, a kind of in-between, and it's whatever. Um, that's generally how it goes, but either way, we're checking out someone new. There's going to be another guy we're going to be checking out as well on the next video that'll be coming out soon, um, and I, I don't remember his name, but I, I will, I'll, you know, you guys will see him coming up as well. But I just found this guy. Um, it was basically something that was recommended to me uh, for his content. I was like, hmm, okay. Now I watched one of his videos, and it wasn't bad or anything. One of I can't, I, I forgot what. I think it was, I can't remember what video it fucking was that I watched. But either way, I watched it. And it wasn't, it wasn't bad or anything. I was like, okay, it's just, it's all right, all right. You know, like there is some things maybe you know that would come through that I would hear, and I'd be like, eh, I don't know how I feel about that. But other than that, it's not too bad. You know what I mean? And uh, he seems like he has a lot of good uh, Naruto content. Not nothing too crazy or too much either. So it's definitely going to be easy to kind of go all, go over all of it and react to all of it and be caught up. Um, and I'm already subscribed to him as well. You know, come on, guys. If if you're a Naruto fan, bro, support him. You know what I mean? Like it's for the vibes. It, it's you're, you're really subscribing for the Naruto vibes. You know what I mean? Not 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 just just to support the YouTuber, but you know, it's it's Naruto. Come on now. You know what I mean? Like I don't even know the guy. And I already subscribed to him. Bro, he makes Naruto content. Come on now. You know what I mean? So unless it's like absolutely AIDS <laughs> of like Naruto content or just something really bad and rough, that's fine. That's different. Then I'm like, eh, yeah, no. And I'll just kind of just maybe put on my phone something to just remember it so I can like always see if they pull something and then just react to it, you know, for shits and giggles. But better than that, nine times out of ten, if I see something that has some Naruto content and some interesting titles or videos or whatever, you know, and, and I can't, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, feeling, vibing with it, then... By all means, you, you have my sub. It's that easy. You know, I'm, I'm a Naruto guy. So, um, you know, the same thing with even Batman, too. So, I love Batman shit. Um, but, anyways, so we're going to be getting into this. We're going to be checking out this guy. Um, basically, the video title is Madara versus Naruto, an analysis of who would win. So, it's interesting. I don't know what versions he's talking about or whatever. But, um, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, you know, th this could be a good video, too. But, obviously, like... You gotta remember, guys, we're talking about fucking Modder. You know what I mean? Like, Modder is no joke, bro. This guy is a monster. You know what I mean? Super intelligent, a badass, so, all the experience you can name it. Basically been stated over and over that, you know, the only guy that can really contend with him is fucking Hashirama and all this other shit. And he just gets more powerful as throughout every time he comes back. You know what I mean? So, like, Modder is no joke. You know what I mean? And so it's like, I feel like this video is gonna be mainly should be in favor for Modder. You know what I mean? Like, there might be some points where he might talk about, like, KCM2 Naruto, how he could probably maybe give him a run for his money, or, like, even with Sage Mode. But even with, like, KCM2 Naruto, you know, and this is another thing, guys. Six came out with a video recently. I've already seen it, so I'm not going to be doing it as a reaction. But he came out with a video of uh, Hashirama versus Naruto, um, and that, that was a pretty de a good, a decent video. So I just, I kind of just saw this, and this is his first video he's ever done for Naruto, and I'm like... All right, bet. Let's see Naruto go against Madara now instead of Hashirama. So that was the main reason why this kind of caught my attention to do a reaction video for. Um, but either way, like, you know, it, it, it can be an interesting topic, but narratively and at least, you know, from at least my memory as of now and, you know, as you know, and so far, I, 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 come on, it's pretty, pretty sh fucking sure Madara is taken all day, every day, you know? Um, now, when you get to the point where it's like six past Naruto and shit, then that's a different story. But, you know, um... But either way, we're going to get into it. We're going to watch it. We're going to see his thoughts. It's only eight minutes long. It's not too long, so that's not too bad either. Um, and yeah, let's just see what he has to say. If you guys don't know who he is, I'll make sure to put his YouTube down in the link in the description down below. This way, if you've never heard of him, you can check out his content. Um, but basically, uh, you know, uh, his new, new Horizons has about 11,000 11, subscribers, so he's doing his thing and everything. Um, you know, has all kinds of videos, so definitely check him out, you know, and uh, you know, that, that'll be that. You know, shout out to New Horizons. So let's check him out.
My voice is really low. I hope it's coming through. I might have to turn up. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to turn my, uh, my volume up because his voice is low on my end. I don't know if it's just because of my fucking headphones, but just to be on the safe side. Let me actually play it and see what the volume's like. Okay, so let's put that there a little bit more. And then I think that should be good. No, that should be good. We'll keep it there. But put it there and leave it at that. Ah, let's get it. So let's start off by establishing which versions of these characters we're going to use. So for modern, we're going to use the one that fought Hashimoto while alive. Okay. I'm also going to say that he cannot use the Renegon in this state, and he can't use Limbo. As for Naruto, we're going to use KCM2 Naruto, because really before this, he doesn't have a chance, because if he doesn't have a Kurama avatar, it's really just unfair. So Fair, okay. So let's start off with Taijutsu, and I'm going to say that it's mostly going to be equal, because we've seen with KCM Naruto that he very, very fast, and faster than the Raikage, who is as fast as I think. With Madara, he's shown how fast he is, and really to scale him, we saw in Itachi's fight against Casey and Naruto, that he was actually able to swap hands with Naruto and keep up a conversation, which is goofy, but I think that it's very fair to say that Madara is as fast or faster than Itachi. On to Mother's Fire Style, which I also think would be ineffective against Naruto, because Naruto showed at the end of the series that he can block Fire Styles with his Chakra Arm as he did against Sasuke. So he can use it against Madara, and even though Madara has bigger Fire Style Jutsu than the one that Sasuke used in that moment, Naruto can easily get out of the way. Well, even, even despite bigger, that Sasuke with six paths would fucking shit on Madara's fire style. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, but you're talking about six paths Sasuke, bro. Come on, it's not even the same scaling-wise. Um, but either way, like, at least for Taijutsu, when we're getting into it, like, I'd say Madara would still probably, like, it'd be interesting. It'd be kind of even, but, but Madara would more than likely still have the edge. Like, with all the experience and everything, you name it, you know? Like, one thing about KCM2 that makes it pretty dangerous is... A lot of people don't know this, but KCM 1 and 2 have sensory abilities. They kind of have, like, pre precognition, you know, like a spidey sense and whatnot to where they're able to sense you, you know what I mean, and whatnot, and kind of deal with you, and that helps them to do taijutsu and fight and everything as well. Um, and then Naruto even states that his sage mode, even though he does state that sage mode is better when it comes to sensory and perception and precognition, you know, abilities and whatnot to, to be able to fight and deal with enemies that may be either faster than you or better yet, you know, just just to help you out in that that area you know so even though sage mode is better but kcm2 and one can replicate and do the same thing just on a lower level compared to sage mode so that can at least help naruto you know what i mean and that's going to allow him to you know be able to go with taiji too and then not only that if i'm being honest with you you guys gotta remember kcm2 naruto is over here smacking fucking full tail beast bombs from like five tail beast or, or six you know what i mean like that's crazy alone <laughs> like that's just insane. Like, just, just with his body alone. Not even in full Biju transformation. Just his body. Just speed and power. Just smacking that shit. You know? So, it, Naruto has a lot of power. He's pretty freaking strong. And I love me some Madara, but Madara is not doing that with just his body and Taijutsu alone. Like, that shit ain't happening. So, you know, if we're talking about, like, aspects of, like, power and everything, you know, and speed and shit, like, yeah, it more than likely would probably be in the edge for Naruto. You know what I mean? And yeah, Madara does have the shotting gun and everything, but you guys gotta remember, if your speed is, you know, lower or, you know, whatever, that's not really gonna do anything. You're gonna get your ass with kind of show the Rock Lee and Sasuke or Killer B against Sasuke and etc. Um, you know, so either way, like with Taijutsu, I could see why he's leaning towards more with Naruto. You can make arguments for it and everything, but I still feel like uh, Madara could be able to, you know, kind of do his thing, block, react and stuff, whatever. Um, you know, even Edo Madara was able to just react with like his tool against KCM to, uh, to you know, Naruto. Um, now one thing I will say is like if KCM to Naruto is doing that, like that teleportation level speed, it's kind of, you know, always being compared to Minato or shown to him and everything. 
um, there is a point where when he did do that, he was able to speed blitz Obido and Madara at the same time and negate their attacks. You know what I mean? So just saying, you know what I mean? But overall, I can see why he's leaning towards Naruto. Uh, you know, be, at the end of the day, we're talking about Madara. So even with Madara kind of being at a disadvantage with that and everything, Madara has Susano on shit and you name it so that, you know, he can just be able to compensate and do it that way, you know? And that was KCM one. Like I said. Now, one thing you I can say as well, which is a lot of people don't really understand this, you know, when Madara obtains the Renegon along with the Hashirama cells, he is getting stronger. Like it's literally stated over and over. You know what I mean, uh, even Kabuto said I made you, you know, strong, blah, blah, whatever, you know, yada, yada. Um, you know what I mean, that the, the, the first Akage was always stronger than you, but now combined with his power and yours, you're basically on a whole other level. You know what I mean, so it's kind of stated over and over. You know what I mean, so when, when Madara obtains Hashirama's cells, you know what I mean, and along with the Renegon, like, that is making him more powerful. Um, you know, so that is something to keep in mind. As compared to the Valley of the End Modder, yes, he is powerful and strong and he's alive, so that helps too. But, you know, if you compare a live Renegon Modder to a live just Mingek EMS Modder, a live Renegon Modder is taken all day every day. Especially if he has Hashira on the Sage Mode or better yet with just the Hash, you know, Cells buff as well. You know what I mean? You know, like, that's just something to put into consideration. And with the Renegon, that's also giving him a lot of crazy amount of power, which is also confirmed and stated. So, I'm just putting that, that out there. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm just saying, you know, like, now, it, like, for instance, like, if you were to compare EMS Madara to, like, Edo Renegon Madara, like, dead ass, you guys probably might think I'm capping or something, but I do really believe Edo Renegon Madara would actually be able to, to, to kind of fuck EMS Madara, and the main reason why is because, you know, yes, an Edo can be weaker, but when this modder was revived he was revived close to his original amount of power it's literally stated by toby rama as well um you know so it's not like he's like too too far or anything you know what i mean or whatever it's not like a drastic difference and then another thing as well you know he has the hot shells amp and all that he has the renegon which is hacks abilities you know to negate all kinds of shit you know that could be able to help and deal he has perfect susano as well wood clones that can use susano you know what i mean then he has fucking uh wood style to, you know to combat against the other moderate like you know I mean? come on bro you know so it's not you know it's not like because the uh, ems model is alive like he just wins because of brute power and four like that that ain't happening you know what i mean like it's just not happening you know so that's just something to put into consideration you know uh, i don't know if you got how well, however you guys want to take that but you know either way uh, I'll keep it at that. So, you know, e even though, like, if someone were to try to argue against that, that's, like, an angle they can kind of tank, you know, to be like, oh, well, you know, Madara with Hosh shells and Renegon, and he's kind of a beast, so it's a little different, you know, but I'm just putting that out there for you guys. Whatever. Oh, and then another thing, Naruto's not at full power either. So every time he's using KCM2 and everything, like, you, gotta, guys, you guys gotta remember, he's been using Chakra since the beginning of the fucking war. He's been fighting KCM1, doing Shadow Clones, being non-stop, dealing with shit, then finally learning KCM2, you know, utilizing that power of only so much Chakra and a certain amount of time he can do. You know what I mean? So, like, imagine him with KCM2, you know what I mean, with mastery of it, or better yet, just with, like, at full Chakra and power as well. That also makes a difference, so just saying, but leave it at that. Yeah, 
True. Yeah, there's, there's just no point. Like, he does it on the right Kage, but that's it. It didn't do damage, yeah. Well, not necessarily because, you know, I mean, he just, all he did was react and he blocked it. So why would it be weird for him not to be able to do that again? I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's just something to put in mind, to keep in mind. Um, it, it's interesting so far. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, you know, this is obviously me just spitballing, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying anything's guaranteed or anything like that or whatever. Um, I would have to, you know, look a little more deeper to really analyze a mod Because when it comes to Hashirama and Madara, I know they're crazy fucking powerful. But, like, not I don't know, like, absolutely remember everything to the T when it comes to them, to scaling-wise and you name it. So that's why I don't really like speaking too much when it comes to comparing other characters to Madara and Hashirama. Um, but either way, like... One thing you guys gotta, you know, at the, understand at the end of the day, we're talking about Madara here, you know what I mean? The guy's a fucking goat, he's crazy powerful. His perfect Susano literally rivals the, the Biju, you know what I mean? So it's, it's stated as well. Um, you know, and then another thing, like, you know, like, it, it's interesting because, you know, it kind of gets to the point where it's like, do you think he has enough AP and power to damage, you know, Naruto's Biju uh, full transformation and just go right through and kind of, you know, the slam around or whatever and deal with him at ease? Or do you think they're kind of just stalemating and just going back and forth and that's that, you know what I mean? So that's kind of where you, you have to kind of have an answer, you know what I mean? And kind of look deeper to the characters and figure out who's actually scaling over at that moment. Because that's really going to determine the, the whoever, who wins in the fight, if I'm being honest with you. If they are, you know, even and stalemated, you know, basically, even if Madara is using his PS, um, you know, and Naruto is just using, you know, fucking uh, his, his Kurama Avatar beat you uh, mode... You know, then at the end of the day, like, you know, fucking that's that, you know, whatever. But I feel like where it, it could get bad is when, um, is when Naruto goes into Sage mode. Because if Naruto activates Sage mode with, you know, KCM2, that makes him a fucking beast, bro, like a monster. And I believe it's even stated to where that at that point he's even being comparable, uh, comparable to Edo Hashirama. You know, so... And, you know, when it comes to Sage Mode, we all know Sage Mode amps you, makes you more powerful and everything, you name it. So it's like, <laughs> it's like at that point, like, is Naruto uh, beating Madara or is Madara still just tanking shit? You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, it's it's an interesting battle. It's an interesting concept. You know what I mean? And those are things you got to put into consideration 
Now, if I'm just being blatantly honest and real with you guys, as of now, like I'm still gonna lean towards Madara to to you know what I mean of of him just being able to take it. And at the end of the day, it's just because it's Madara, you know what I mean, due to his experience, how intelligent he is, his how you know how powerful he is. Um, you know what I mean? He does have Genjutsu as well. That could be maybe a, a deciding winning factor, you know, somehow, some way. Um, you know, yes, it could be irrelevant, especially if the Ninetales is working, but once again, the Ninetales only has so much chakra and everything, and once he's kind of out of that, he goes away, you know? So, and if Madara has enough chakra, he can just do a Genjutsu, whatever, you know? Um, he has his weapon tool to reflect things, you know? So, it's kind of just to the point where it's like, you know, what do you think happens? Like, is it just the same exact moment as when Hashirama goes to fight him? You know what I mean? Like, he's able just to counter because of his shot and gun and just beats his ass, you know? Um, you know, and that's that, you know? So, like, that's just something for you guys to think and put into consideration. I still think Madara is going to take this fight, um, even if it does come out to them being a kind of stalemate and going back and forth. I just feel like Madara will be able to pull a W in the end. Um, you know, it's, it's Madara, bro. Um, and then... You know, or better yet, if you think, you know, when Naruto's tapping into Sage Mode, stacking that with his KCM2 transformation, if that would be enough to be able to deal with, you know, um, with EMS Madara, you know, and there's that to put in consideration. And one thing to uh, uh, as well think about, guys, is KCM2 Sage Mode Naruto would literally give Jibido a run for his money and, fu you know, fucking his uh, Truth Seeker orbs up and everything and, and whatnot, like a six pass level character. So, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, but. Either way, you know, we are talking about Madara, so it's tricky. It's tricky. I can't, unfortunately, give you guys a concrete answer of who would actually really take it. This is something I would need to put in, you know, some more additional time into and some homework. But, you know, just to be on the safe side, at least narratively speaking and from my memory and all that, I feel like Madara could simply do, to take it somehow. That's just me. But it's understandable why he's leaning towards Naruto. I don't see it being too, too crazy, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's not fair. Yeah. That's not fair. Okay, okay, okay. To be f okay, no, no, no. Yeah, it did happen when he had the divine tree and both eyes. Yeah, yeah. No, so never mind. Yeah, but once again, that was a weaker Madara. He only had one Renegon Eye. Uh, it was either one or two. I can't remember. Um, and he didn't have the Divine Tree absorbed either. You know what I mean? So he was kind of, you know, at a disadvantage. And he just fought 8th Gate Guy and was recuperating, so... Kaya is more stronger than Madara. 
Yeah. And Naruto was able to, to still fight her and, and, and go. So, just saying. But see, but one thing I will say though, Madara does have the Renegon, so he could still use those abilities, you know what I mean, like Absorbing and, you know, Shinra Tensei, and then you guys might be thinking I'm capping on this, but, like, why wouldn't he still be able to use Susanoo, you know what I mean, like, when, like, Sasuke, when he got six path power, he was able to use his Susanoo, so why can't Madara not do it, you know what I mean, like, that's a little weird, um... You know, and then another thing I do know that like when he gets the third eye, that makes him more powerful as well. And from my memory, you know what I mean? Like he got a power boost or whatever. And I think from there, like Sasuke and Naruto were getting worried. And basically if it continued, they more than likely would have lost a fight or something. I, don't, I can't remember, dude. But at least from everything I've seen and what I've heard and kind of slightly from my memory as well, like Naruto might actually be able to win and take that battle. As crazy as it may seem, like, you guys got to remember how he performed and how he did against Kage, which is confirmed that she is stronger. So, uh, you know, like, I don't know. Does, does he actually take the, the, the L, you know? or? But then again, one thing that was stated as well is that the only way to defeat Madara was, was by sealing him, you know, and that he needed Sasuke's seal. And if that's the case, then no, the Naruto can't win. Even if he can damage him or whatever, yada, yada, like... If he can't die and he could just regen, what's the point? You know what I mean? Unless Madara can die, you know what I mean? Which, there is a moment where Madara is like, you bastard, you almost killed me talking to 8th Gate. So, maybe, you know what I mean? There is an implication that he can still be killed despite his regeneration if you do en enough damage. But, you know, overall, it's it's interesting. It is interesting. Um, could it deserve its own video of its own for me to maybe do on my end and kind of, you know, uh, go a little bit more deeper with it or whatever? Sure, but... Um, but it's interesting. It is interesting. You let you guys let me know what you think down below. Like I said, I, I'm not I'm not really even giving a winner. All I'm saying is that it's understandable why the angles he's coming from and where basically how Naruto could be able to pull it off. And also, it is something to put into consideration. Naruto's really fucking powerful, dude. He's very powerful during that time. So, especially Six Path, like he's just a beast. <laughs> so, but that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more content, subscribe you guys on the channel. Make sure to check out his channel as well. He, he has plenty of other content and whatnot. Um, we'll be definitely checking out all his videos and trying to just knock it all out along with the other guy. Um, and this way, you know, we're kind of caught up with that. And then this way we can just keep focusing other YouTubers and continue the reaction vids along the way, along with my own vids and gaming, you name it. Um, so we'll keep it up and uh, it's going to be fun. So peace, guys.